So it is the first legal version under the bold law. I take the topic relating to the archaeological. That is very important. Ancient monuments and archaeological site and remains act, which is much necessary. It keeps the heritage intact and the worldwide and the listed heritage and our nation heritage all go intact. It can be protected. That is necessary. This act which helps more. And it gives in the Monument National Authority, it is a center commission which takes in the responsibility for the all the activities and it gives the permission and everything. This one. Another one is Archaeological Survey of India. Now it has the famous it has become the famous institution due to Kiladi and more more archaeological sites and those sites are protected and unearthed. It is doing another thing more and, in, and doing the investigation and also doing the consultation on the, the uh, what it times in the heritage and monuments and everything. So the Archaeological Survey of India is an institution connected with the Ministry of Culture. Also it has been brought under the above act. And it is helping to preserve the, the monuments. If the, especially at the also, if the monuments is 100 years old, whether it's a government or in private ownership, those have to be protected. If one person is going to demolish, he has to take a permission from the National Monuments Authority or Monuments National Authority. So under which only the person or connected activities can be get the permission. That is important. Archaeological Survey of India is unearthing more and more sites. If any private person also, or if any person, or any citizen finds anything at the source of special relating to the archaeology, the person can inform to the Archaeological Survey of India. It will come and inspect it and also survey it and then it will do if it's necessary, unearth the source and find more things. In this series, we can say in Tamil Nadu it is also Kiladi, in North India it is in Madura. Madura it is also in really is a specific place stated in Mahabharata. In the Mahabharata, the god, in the it is also in really Krishna, Lord Krishna, it is also who played the key role in Mahabharata. And the same incident happened in Maharashtra, I am sorry, in Madura. It is being unearthed now, but now it is under the, in the sea. The sea has merged. It is also submerged in the Madura site. So the Madura site is being unearthed. So it is a significant role of the archaeological survey of the India. Like that, in more and more it is also river based and the sea based areas are being surveyed because in the really in the ancient period our ancestors began to it is also reside on the water base. So that only their life started from there. But now is the we are omnipresent, whatever it may be. But also on the really the river basing are being at the Sanso in and inspected and surveyed. So this act which protects the heritage. UNESCO Rasanzo Yen also has listed some heritage site. In North India and in the Uttar country has a more of the Sanso movements and everything. And in Karnada also recently one cave. A specific cave has been found and has been given to the importance through archaeological survey of India. Like that, whether natural matter or constructed by the ancient people, all come under the other also under this act. So the act is very important. It has to be known well whether whereby we can preserve and we can list the really monuments and the, to be preserved the heritage and everything. This can be at the source of preserved for the future generation. The future generation can learn more how our ancestors lived and how we have to frame the life and preserving more things. It is not on the tourism based, it is our commitment and a responsibility to protect our at the source of the early monuments and the heritage. Thank you.